Hi guys, welcome to Creatively Homemade. My name is Jennifer and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So normally I post on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and I have new um, craft tutorials for you on those days. But sometimes on my off days I will post a quick little video um, sharing a tip with you or answering subscribers questions. So that's why I'm posting this week on Tuesday. And today I want to talk to you about bow making. Now, making bows used to be the bane of my crafting existence. I could not get them to look nice for anything. Um, so I've watched a lot of videos and there are videos on how to use a fork to make cute little bows and that works perfectly fine, but you get tiny little bows. I wanted something that could make a bigger bow. So after watching a lot of different videos, I came up with this. And it's made with scraps that I already had on hand and it makes perfect bows every time. So you just need a scrap block of wood. If you don't have one on hand, you can get those relatively inexpensively in the unfinished wood section at your local craft store. You need two long nails, uh, one and a half inches to two inches long. I didn't even look what type of nails they were. I just grabbed some from my husband's uh, workshop. And you need two mini wooden spools. You can also get those in the unfinished um, wood section at your local craft store. I always have these on hand for winding ribbon and washi tape. So I already had all this material. So you just want to pound the nails into your block of wood about an inch and a half apart. Now the further apart the ribbons are, the bigger the bow it's going to make. But I found that having them about an inch and a half apart makes a good size bow for paper crafting. Now as it is with just the two um, nails in the wood, you can make a bow just fine. However, I found sometimes I was having difficulty getting the bow off the nail because it wanted to catch on the head. So I solved that problem by using two mini wooden spools and just they slide right on there. And let me show you how that works. So I have a length of ribbon here. You can actually do this right on the spool to lessen your amount of waste, but I happen to have a scrap, so that's what I'm using. So wind that ribbon around the spool and cross the ends, just like that. Then you wanna take the end that's on the underneath, the end that it's on the underneath of the cross, you want to put that through those two spools over top and then you want to run the end underneath between those two spools and pull it out the other side. And then cinch that tight and then tie a knot in the center. Just like that. Remove those wooden spools from the nails and then you can easily remove your bow from the spools. And it's a perfect bow and it works every time. You can use this two nail method for any width of ribbon that Stampin' Up! sells. And by adjusting the distance between the two nails, you can make any size bow that you like. And best of all, I was able to make this with items I already had on hand, so it didn't cost me anything and I didn't have to buy one of those expensive bow makers at the craft store. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip. If you found it helpful, be sure to give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or ideas for a future quick tip, be sure to leave that down in the comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy crafting!